Ah, now what does that say? Hang on. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that's the weirdest. Oh gosh, try that again. That can be an outtake. Let's put the pressure plate back. Okay. What on earth is that? Oh, it's a slime. Now, why, Chris? Why do we have a sign that says slime? Because, well, my friend, I wanted it to be. I see. I don't know if you noticed, yeah. Chris, but by coincidence, we also happen to be surrounded by slime blocks. I know it's not working magnificent. Oh, there he goes. So, uh, slime blocks are one of the new blocks added in Minecraft in the update, the snapshot, if you do not know. Uh, originally, they had one function, which was to make you bounce when you land on them and take no full damage. However, the beautiful people at Mojang, Mojang, however you want to pronounce it, have implemented a new feature where you can be bounced up uh, and loads of cool stuff works with pistons. For example, uh, if we push this button here, you see it pushes all the sticky, the sticky piston pushes all the slime blocks. Uh, now the most we've actually seen it pushes 12. If you put any more on, for some reason it doesn't work, but uh, I guess that's the most you can do. Uh, and strangely enough, you can only do six slime blocks attached onto actual blocks. Like that, you see. So if you put any more on, then uh, it just, just doesn't work at all. Technically, um, still 12 at the same time. Mm, yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's 12, always 12, basically. Uh, and there is a lot of new things you can do with these. So over here I've got... Um, they don't just push players, of course, they push entities too. So I've got uh, a piece of sand. Uh, basically, we just summon a bit of sand up in the sky over here, and then it'll get bounced up. Over here, we've got a piece of glowstone, like so. And I believe over here we have nothing, apparently. <laughs> nothing. Well, we can put it wherever we like. We can have a, let's say, 47. Let's see what 47 is. What's that? Oh, it's a bookshelf. There you go. Flying bookshelves. Marvellous. So, um, you can use these slime blocks as kind of just launchers, trampolines, elevators, whatever you like. Have them hooked up like that. Pretty cool. The one thing you do have to remember, though, is that these slime blocks, if they are pushed on a piston, say, for example, if I have a... If I have this here... Let's get a button quick. That's uh, one. Whoops. Uh, it will always bring the block with it. Uh, however, it will not pull obsidian, which makes it useful for stuff like this. If uh, if you use any other block, the slime block will just get stuck there. Uh, so obsidian is kind of useful for that. Now over here, over here, what what's what's this, Chris? What do you think this is? Um, this. Well, judging by the looks of it, I think this. Is going to be when you use the furnace, it triggers off something that is to push this is block uh, up into this command block, mm -hmm. and then it's going to say, Don't say it, Chris. Don't say it, Chris. Something Don't special. It. Basically, what these are are block updates. Uh, if you've been playing Minecraft for a while, people always try to find ways that you can uh, update a block, like update something near a block or whatever, and then use that to power redstone like if you have a piece of redstone or oh, I think it works with that if I can find it which I here we go hang on right, here we go so when we place it it will do that I think oh, there you go see if you left click on it and it goes in that sparkly mode it does that it's quite clever uh, over here we have a furnace so if I get a piece of diamond I think that works Get a piece of diamond door, put it in there, it'll do that, and say, you are using a furnace. Let's just start this command block using tell or uh, It doesn't just work... This is uh, this over here as well, Chris, is um, just kind of a, a weird glitch I found. Oh, yeah. If you do that, like, if you just, just, it just looks really weird, it just does, it does that. If you put a block there, like, it, it glitches. It glitches and it stays placed down like that. It's kind of strange. So it's like a, a magic extended piston. It's really, it's really quite odd. But yeah. Red table uh, if, if you break this block though, it does go back to normal. There is a way, I think, if you do it. If you, if you uh. Oh, shit. Nah, 
glass is broken. <laughs> if you break it instant, I don't think you can break it instantly. It does work, trust me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, well, I was working, well, of course, yeah. Uh, so now it's just a floating, broken, strange looking piston. And uh, apparently we're still using a furnace. Uh, that's great. Oh, it must be because it ran out. Oh, diamond. I'll take that. Uh, now, over here, Chris, we have a similar update system switch thing. Uh, it's just sideways, oh, yeah. like that. And the strange thing about these ones is that if you don't have a block in front of them, they will just keep going forever like that. It is a ah. little bit weird. And apparently just duplicated a block, I think. Uh, but if you do have a block in front of them, it just it does it once to come back like that. Isn't that strange? Sorry, you could duplicate blocks doing this. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, this thing over here uh, is also a little strange. It does that constantly, pretty much. Side to side. Looks a little weird, causes a bit of lag, uh, but it's, it's kind of cool. I'm impressed yeah. to break it though. Um, what else have we got? Let's let's take a look over at this minecart here. Now, Chris, would you be so kind as to get inside the minecart? Is it safe? No, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can probably tell, uh, like I said, it launches all entities, including minecarts. So, we push this button. It'll then launch the minecart up there with Chris inside it, and then we can bring him, try and bring him back down like that. There we go. Hello, Chris. Uh, now. What happened? <laughs> I don't remember anything. <laughs> the reason we've got this thing here is because if the slime block will actually stay up if you don't move. Like, it tries to pull this rail down with it because there's obsidian in the way it can't. So it just. Uh, it, it, it tries to pull the rail down, and it can't, so it gets stuck, and the slime block stays there, and then it, you have to reset it every time manually, but if you have this piston, pulls the rail away, then it can work. Now, let's see, Chris, you started up a piece of parkour over here just to show us oh, yeah. slime block stuff. Would you like to give that a test? Can you make uh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I bet he can make it. Right, here we go, here we go. Do, 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 do. He's gone it. Oh, he's done the first one. Can he make the second? Can he do it? Oh, no. <laughs> He's bottled uh, it. He's bottled it. See, when you run on the slimes, it kind of is slower as well, as you probably know. Mm -hmm. So, it so adds effects to the why, parkour. Why are you uh, messing around with that, Chris? I'm going to show uh, people the next thing I made. So, as you can see here, we have a bunch of sheep, multi colours, multi, multi, multiple colours, multiple colours, in a bunch of different area. Things I haven't actually tested everything that this works yet, so hopefully it will. Chris, do you want to come over and uh, where are you? I'm just up here. Oh, work well, down here. So if we push this button, hooray! Oh my god, what fast. just happened? Slime blocks do stay there, so it's a one time thing, but it is pretty cool nonetheless. It works once, Chris. Uh, I think to finish off, we'll go check out these now. Thanks to the awesomeness of block updating and the strangeness of these sticky come on, slime stuff. We can now make endless flying machines. They just keep moving continuously. But if you, you know stand that? on it. Yeah, and you can even ride it as well. Weird. You can uh, decorate these kind of if you put stuff in the right places. Sometimes it does break and they are of course a bit glitchy at the moment. They are prone to breaking. But you can do stuff like this, put something on the end of it, like that, like we have. So uh, this is just to end the video off, I guess. Let's let's see what happens when we do this. Straight in, and what in the world is happening right now? I oh, went through it, did not see that coming. Well, I think that went well. Well, everyone. This has been a video on the different things that you can do with slime blocks in 14W19A. Uh, I believe the bounciness stuff, the, the uh, pistons and stickiness, was added in 18A, but we're a snapshot ahead with a few fixes in it, I suppose. Uh, so make sure you can, you can go check this out, add this to your Let's Play world. Best thing about this is that most of it doesn't use command blocks. 
like uh, these can be made in survival so they're really cool really useful and um, I guess until next time everyone I've been Reaver and I've been XX King Chris and we've been the Domino Network until next time everyone Arriva Oh 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 one quick thing. Can I can I quickly do one more thing to end this video? What would you like to do, Chris? Oh for goodness sake. Magical.